flames that devoured a warehouse in downtown Hartford are gone tonight. There was so much smoke could be seen all across town. But not even today's wrecking ball could extinguish all of the embers. Channel 3's Melissa Francis is live on the scene just north of I-84. Melissa. Well, Denise, this is all that's left of the warehouse that used to stand on this lot. You can barely see anything today. Demolition workers spent the day tearing down what little was still standing. Yesterday, firefighters battled the blaze all day and into the night. And it was like a towering inferno. Uh, we thought the building was going to explode. There was cars in the back. We thought they were going to catch fire. It was a, a nightmare. Close for comfort. Much too close for comfort. It took 70 firefighters and 16 trucks a full day to knock down the flames. The steady sound of water running from the rubble 24 hours later is proof of a fight. So tough, it slowed trains and their tracks and eventually closed down the rail line. This is a disaster command mode. The smoke and fear traveled quickly to Hartford Hospital. Some patients were moved to different rooms as the haze spread throughout the city and the building burned. To get the upper hand, crews fought from above and from below. Second, third, and fourth floors have wood planking floors, a little bit of oil substance probably on them from years of uh, use in the building. The wall partitions and wooden floors fueled the fire, forcing crews to put it out from the outside. Now all that's left are piles of rubble and the question, how it all got started. Fire officials are calling the blaze suspicious. They say they believe it could be arson, but so far they have no suspects. Back to you. Melissa Francis live in Hartford. A very